Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. Um, I didn't mean to have that so far back. So I've got the 2010 Opera Prima, Opera Prima Tempranillo from Spain. This is from the La Mancha part of Spain. Um, it is produced by the Garcia uh, Carion family. Bought this at World Market for $3.00. 99 cents regularly 4.99 again the whole world market explorer program so save a little bit of money on some wines not every wine they have there do you get a discount but some of the wines you do all right so let's talk about this real quick we kind of get around that oh i forgot the tweet real quick all right hold on got a tweet last wine See it live. Come on. Paste. Make sure I'm using that account first. Little Facebook tag. Click send. Bam. Oh, yeah. Start the timer. <laughs> I'm usually better at doing all this. There we go. Okay. So, um, La Mancha, uh, that's kind of in the central part of Spain. Uh, everyone knows about Rioja, right? But uh, this is kind of the central part of Spain. Um, if I remember, I will have a map up there. It's starting to get a little hot with the lights now. It feels like, seems like that light's darker. The light that went out. All right. Um, don't have too much about this wine other than uh, what I just told you but uh, it looks like one of those wines where you know they it's, it's a, a grower makes the wine or so you know somebody makes the wine and somebody comes in and just kind of buys up the grapes uh, and imports it to the US and and that's what what the wine is this could be you know this person who makes this wine may have um, you know, may do well actually if you, I go, if you go to the website for these for these guys um, it is one of their brands, Opera Prima. So I do apologize. It's not one of them because I've had it where, like, somebody, like, you know, some bodega, like in Argentina or Chile, makes the wine, but, like, it's somebody else's company that kind of bought the wine and then imports it. Anyway, so 2009, sorry, 2010 Tempranillo on the cheap. I get a little bit of that smoke bomb. A little smoke bomb. I actually also get a little bit of manure. So very mineral driven. Not much on the on the uh, fruit or floral part. Other than that, I don't get much else. again. Kind of fruity. Feels like there's a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, medium to medium plus tannins really coats the mouth. Sometimes the tannins like just attack one part. This really kind of coats the mouth. Um, but with that, it feels more like a, a light to medium bodied wine. Um, I get really a, 
a raspberry flavor to it. That's kind of the dominant fruity flavor that I'm getting with, with the wine. I don't get any of that smoke that I was getting off of the uh, off of the nose. And now that the smoke is a little bit, you know, that might have been the sulfur blowing off. I don't get so much sulfur or that, that smoke bomb effect anymore. Yeah, more raspberry than anything else. I get a little bit of wood from it, but um, I don't get a whole lot else. I like it. It's a really, really inexpensive wine. It's a great value wine. Um, I would probably score this probably more like an 86 because um, I just don't think it's as good as some of the other ones I, I tasted today. But for four or five dollars, it's it's a great buy. Um, this is a wine that I personally could just drink on its own. I would probably want to put it with more cheeses, um, maybe some uh, barbecued meats, barbecue sausage, uh, so the barbecue aspect, um, or just you know just a regular old grilled steak. You don't necessarily have to barbecue sauce it up. Um, you could put it with pizzas. You could put it with um, burgers. Definitely some burgers. You know, nice, nice big juicy burger with some blue cheese on it. You know, um, or just like some cheddar cheese on there. Yeah. Mm, sounds good. Anyway, um, pretty good wine. 86, right? Yeah, I gave it an 86. Um, $4, $5, depending on, you know, whether you're in the program or not, or you can find it elsewhere. And uh, I definitely would recommend it. Um, that's going to do it for today's show. Uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. Just come by the website, leave some comments below. I'll have a link to the to the um, to the winemaker also below. Friend me up and hit the donate button. You know, put a couple ducats. Maybe I can buy another five dollar bottle of wine. Uh, we'll see everyone again next time.